In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a custom item field. There are lots of different record types in NetSuite, transaction records, entity records, and item records, for instance. Um, this process is similar for adding a custom field to other records, but specifically we'll be adding a field to an item record. We generally need to be in an upper level role, like an administrator role to do this. And we'll go to customization, list record and fields, and then come down to item fields. Once we're at item fields, you see the list of all the current custom item fields. We're going to click new. Here we have the label. The label is what will display to anyone looking at an item record in NetSuite. And color here. Um, be careful when you're making this label because you want to make sure there's not already a similar label on the item record. Um, and also that there might not be other meanings that people might think you're talking about when you create this field. And then we need an ID. You should always start the ID with an underscore because it's going to be added to a standard prefix. Uh, and then we'll say something like item color. And then we need to add a description. This step is often skipped, um, but it's actually really important. So um, we'll say this is, um, this is the primary color of the item or something like that. Um, it could be a much more complicated description depending on the, the type of field we're talking about. And then for simplicity's sake, so we, we grab the description and we go down to the display subtab and we add it to the help text. Um, so now if someone ever is on an item record and they click, like here, I'm gonna click the field help, um, there's help text there saying this is the primary color of the item. So you're helping out anyone who uses this field in the future and isn't sure what it might be for. Uh, it really helps keep your data clean. Okay, so uh, next step, we'll go back up to this main body and we're going to decide the type of field. Um, there are freeform text fields, which is basically just a place where you can type in text like the label or ID fields are here. Or there are also list record fields. Um, a list record field, for example, this owner field is a list record field and you can pick um, other records or other list items from there. Um, various sort of predetermined options. If you select our list record type field, um, then you have to go determine, well, what record exactly am I referencing? So we'll see if there's one for color already. Oh, there is. Um, great, so we've got a color list. You'd want to make sure that this custom list is actually the one you want to be referencing. Um, and you can do that by going to customization, list records and fields, and lists to see, well, what are the options in that field and that list anyways? Okay. Generally, you'll want to be clicking store value um, for most custom fields you create. And then if you want the field to automatically show in a list display of the record it belongs to, you click here. So for instance, if you're, if you're looking at a page of all your items and each item is one line, generally fields that are, have this box checked would show up. And then we determine the item type that this field belongs to. Um, for this one, it'll be inventory items, kit package items, assembly items, and that's probably all that we need. Um, but it, again, it depends on what item records you want this field to show up on. Do you want it to only be sale items or purchase items or both? That sort of thing. 
Or you can say, look, I only wanted to show up on these 10 items, and you could go over here and add those items. We'll go to display. We've already added a help text. Um, here, display type is important. Most of the time, you'll leave this as normal. Um, but in some cases, you might want to set it to inline text. And what that does is it doesn't allow the average user to edit the value. So you generally only be able to edit the value using a script or a workflow or something like that. Um, it would be just displayed as read only. Subtab tells us where you want the field to show up on the item record. So each item record generally has a main area at the top and then a number of um, subtabs that help you organize the information. Um, I'd say this is, let's call it basic information. Okay. And then within the basic information subtab, you can determine where roughly this new field will display on the form. I'm seeing that there's already a color one, so I'm going to say primary color, just to distinguish. Okay. Validation and defaulting, normally you won't be messing with that. Um, sourcing and filtering, same, normally you won't be messing with that. As well as access and translation, um, those aren't needed for the, the normal field. And then we just click save. Briefly, I'll um, walk through a couple of the other types of fields you can have. So we talked about freeform text and we talked about list record type fields. Um, there are also checkboxes. Um, you see that here. Store value, for instance, on this form is an example of a checkbox. There are also multiple select. Now multiple select is just a variation on the list record field. So the list record field only lets you pick one. So for instance, if I want to pick an owner of this field, I can only pick one of these options. But a multi-select field says, well, you can pick however many options you want. You can pick zero, or you can pick all of them, or you can pick three of them. So if, for instance, um, you, it would be possible for an item to have multiple primary colors, then you'd want to do the multiple select, and then you'd still select a, a list record. There are a number of others that you can see, integer number, for instance, um, email address, document refers to the file cabinet. Most of the rest are, are fairly self-explanatory. Okay, and then we just click save and we're done. That's how you create a custom item field. If I Click save, I should now be able to see this field, not only on the item record, but also in this list of custom item fields. So I'll do control F, primary color, there it is.